Hello, and thank you for clicking on this video. Uh, welcome to, I think this is our first ever book haul. Yes. So we're going to uh, start off with something a little bit special. A little bit of a special book that we happened to purchase over the weekend. Uh, <laughs> this is Edgar. He is the newest member of our booktubing family. <laughs> and he'll make a smashing reader. Well, yeah. <laughs> So we've, uh, <laughs> we're just making our way through the Harry Potters with him. <laughs> and, uh, he's really serious. loving them. He's really loving it. He's really Good loving course. it. Not enough dogs, though, apparently. No, needs to be more. So you might have seen, uh, if not, please definitely check it out, a video that we uploaded um, a few about a week ago uh, where we went out to a charity shop uh, to pick up as many books as possible uh, for £10 each. Yes. Um, and we got, I think... Just over 10 books. I think we've got 11 books or 12 books, I think. 11 books, I think, all yeah. in all. And we're just about to go through them and why we picked them up and kind of our afterthought feelings. Shall I? Yeah, go you go first. So the first one. Uh, I think, first of all, we were quite surprised about how like the quality of books we found in uh, the charity shops. We were expecting them to be a lot kind of older and a bit naff, but there were certainly some good ones that we found, some uh, ones that we cherry-picked. Now, The Dark Tower... The Stephen King series that's just been made into a film with Matthew McConaughey and Idris Elba. Um, I thought that looked really cool. Never read the books, never seen the film. And I saw The Gunslinger, which I believe is the first in the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. Uh, I saw that in the uh, charity shop in pretty good nick. Um, and I thought, well, why not get it now? I think it was a pound it cost me. No, it's two pounds it cost me. <laughs> uh, I'll just see it on the back. Uh, and I thought, how cool would that be? Look, soon to be a, a major motion picture. So we are indeed living in the past, as that is now out. And it's, out the, it's been out for quite a while. I think people hate it, to be honest with you. I'm not sure. But we'll see. But I'll... if you haven't seen it, it'll be quite interesting to read the book. Exactly. Then see it. Exactly. So I wanted to really read good. it first and then see the film. I thought that was a good then idea. Then we'll do the film review as well. Then we'll do the film yeah. review. Yeah, absolutely. So this is my first one. Uh, that I picked up for £2, so I was quite happy with this. It was one uh, that I wanted to get hold of. Uh, it's by Tim Weaver, um, and it's called Broken Heart. Sorry, <laughs> the yeah. sticker confused me. Uh, where did she go? What did she know? Uh, so a little bit of a mystery there. Some of the um, things on the back, uh, the reviews on the back... His books get better each time. I haven't actually read any of his books. No. Uh, so I'm really interested, and that should be on my TBR quite soon. I don't know if it'll be on next month, yeah. but we'll see. Awesome. So that was my first one. That's good. So the second one, and I've done a thing that will annoy a lot of people, I'm sure, as I've tried to rip off the sticker, but it didn't yeah. come off that well. Yeah, it's a bad bit about charity shop shopping isn't it's it it's just any shop so like tesco stickers or morrison stickers are really annoying me yeah. like why stick the stickers on the covers yeah it's it annoying. really ruins the cover it does it does so this is hide and seek by m j arledge i believe yeah. hide and seek which uh it says doc uh, di helen grace was one of the country's best police investigators now she's behind bars with the killers she caught Wow. Right? So I think, you know, obviously this happened. I don't know if it's in a series, to be honest. It could well be. Um, yes. It is a part of a series. Is it an actual part of the series, or um, is it they've just other books? That I haven't is... got a clue, but I'm going to read it and okay. find out. Okay. I'm going to uh, say it's in pretty good nick, obviously. Uh, and I thought that was a really cool concept uh, when uh, browsing in the shop. Like thought it'd be kind of cool, like a DI, like locked away. Yeah. You know, I thought that'd be really cool. So I'm going to give this one a go, and it sort of... Uh, the cover's a little bit boring, but that kind of fits in with the, the grimy and sort of And how much did you pick that one up for? Is it a pound? I think or it was, two, uh, two pounds. pounds. Two, two pounds, pounds yeah. this was. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. good. Uh, right, my next one, uh, which I'm really keen on starting, but I've kind of got a lot of books uh, that I want to read for April, so I don't think I'll quite fit it on April. Mm -hmm. uh, so it might be on May, but it's The Betrayals. Uh, oh, he's sleeping. <laughs> Do you want to grab him? <laughs> um so it's Betrayals by Fiona Nell. Neil? No? N could Neil? be either. Neil. Yeah. Neil. Um, the Betrayals. Sometimes there are four sides to a story. Which one do you believe? Ooh. Um, 
so I'm quite looking forward to this one. Um, as far as I can guess, um, Rose is the main character, or one of them, yeah. because it's four sides. Uh, and she ran off, uh, she had a husband and a best friend, Lisa, ran off with him. Um, and they've both got children. It's not good, is it? Um, so. I'm looking forward to getting it. I think yeah. this will be definitely one that I fit in. And I've got so much to read at the minute, but I think May yeah. could be potential for that one. So this next one, The Hiding Place by John Burley. Is anyone safe? Is the catchphrase. Well, that's pretty cool. I bet you can't guess how much this cost me. <laughs> uh, and it says, Dr. Lisa Shields works tirelessly with the most deadly criminals in America. Uh, the psychiatric hospital, all are guilty, and no one ever leaves. Then she meets Jason Edwards, who is an anomaly. No transfer order, no patient history, no paperwork at all. Has he really done the horrific crimes he's been sentenced for? Wow. Ooh, I thought that sounded kind of cool. Sounds um, kind of up my street. Yeah, right? a wonderful psychological thriller. We um, might have to do some sort of read on that each and sort yeah. of see how we can review that one. Yeah, well, Linwood Barclay, uh, she likes it. Okay. So that's good. Do you know? Don't. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought that uh, looked really cool in the shops. <laughs> the next one uh, that good I point. chose, I was so looking at it, I was going to get it on Amazon. So I was super, super excited uh, when I found 99 Red Balloons by Elizabeth Carpenter. Uh, Carpenter? Carpenter. Um, and I picked it up for £2, which I thought was really good because it was quite expensive on uh amazon um so it's a bit tatty but yeah. it doesn't matter yeah. um at first because the way the books that i thought was might be some pages <laughs> missing or something but no i think they're all there so i'm really excited about reading this one yeah. um it's an eight-year-old girl is last a uh, girl? girl an eight-year-old girl uh is last seen in a sweet shop uh her mother emma is living a nightmare um so there we go. So I think that's about... Yeah, yeah. It's just one of those books where... But I'm hoping it's going to be really good. I kind of got the It vibe from it. Yeah, it does uh, A little yeah, bit. Absolutely. Um, but I don't think it's good. It could be. could be a bit. Uh, what a roller coaster of a read. Brilliant. Uh, and that is Lisa, by Lisa Hall, uh, the author of Me uh, Between Me and You. Wow. I haven't read that. I haven't. Uh, but I might do. So, yeah. yeah. So we'll see if this is any good. Yeah. And we'll see what your tasting books are like before. The cover's I get... really nice. The cover is really nice. I really like this cover. But yeah, I got that it yeah. vibe from it. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Which it is something that I really want to try reading again. I've tried reading it twice. Start the time. Um, but it's so long. Um, so let me know because I kind of I haven't seen the film because I really wanted to read the book. I've seen the film. And I, I enjoyed we'll the film. Yeah. Yeah, film. Yeah, we'll save yeah, it. Yeah, we'll want to do yeah. some film reviews, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah. So yeah, that's my next one. So next is Peter James, uh, Dead Simple. His you, You'll have seen these everywhere uh, Peter, in the yeah, UK. Yeah. Peter James, what did I say? Yeah, Peter James. Did yeah, I say I that? Just, no. yeah, I was just agreeing. He actually lives rather local to us. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but 14 million copies sold. And I believe that this is the first one in his series. I believe. It doesn't say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but uh, there's lots of them. They're all like all the titles are kind of the same. Um, I don't know if it's the Dead uh, series because they've all got the dead the word dead in them, or it could be the Roy Grace, which is the detective. Are you just making these up? You don't know. No, no, it says it. I haven't. I haven't. I've not well, I read it. Have I? I don't know. Oh, okay. But I believe that this is the first one. Um, so I, I picked that up because I wanted to give these a go because you see them everywhere. Yes. And um, as we'll be talking about in a different video, you got me to kind of take a delve into the thrillers. Yes. And I really, really uh, are starting to enjoy it, but I'm now wanting to become a detective. <laughs> so it's kind of ruined my career and my life because I probably won't be ever be a detective. Yes. So on that note, I'm looking forward to delving into this one. Cool. That's good. Now, the next book that I picked up, it has been everywhere, and I mean on BookTube, everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and I kind of... Do you know what put me off this is because I read In a Cabin in a Wood... Oh, no, in a... Yeah, In a Cottage in a Wood or something. Yeah. And because this has the word wood in it, and I hated that book, I thought, nah. <laughs> but it's been everywhere, and it's supposed to be really good. Yeah. And it kind of just reminded me of that, but it's by Ruth Ware. Um, I like the cover. 
I like the cover and it looks so much good. So I'm hoping this is kind of going to bring back what I lost with cabins in woods yeah. and woods that just got ruined. Um, I'm hoping that this book's going to bring it back to life for me. Uh, you won't be able to put it down this creepy purge turner. And that's by Closer, the magazine. Oh. I guess. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a tense, terrifying novel. Uh, Claire McIntosh, author of I Let You Go. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, it's um, Nora hasn't seen Claire for 10 years. Not since the day Nora walked out of her old life and never looked back. Um. But something goes wrong, very wrong, and that's just the worst. <laughs> what? Yeah. No. So yeah, it, it's yeah. kind of it's going to happen in a dark, dark wood. Hopefully. Hopefully, but yeah. I'll let you know how I progress because I really want to read this. But again, I've got so much to read, so it might be something for later on in the year. Yeah. Um, and more stickers. Oh, I ruined hate it. That's more the shop. Probably. And that's obviously there's been a sticker there previously. Yeah. And that's ruined it as well. So there's such nice covers. Yeah. People spend a lot of time on these covers. And poor... St stickers ruin them. I was going to try and print... I was going to be trying to be really clever and compliment the person who did the cover, but it turns out I can't pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> so well done. Yeah, yes. nice cover. <laughs> so to follow on to the next... Uh, to the last one, another Peter James, Need You Dead. Now, from the time <laughs> of uh, recording this, this, this is actually the the newest one and it might be the last of the series for all i know because it's been out in age, ages mm -hmm. um but this is the last one the latest one so i thought why read the series <laughs> when you can just read the first one and the last one no i didn't really think that but i thought by the t if i if i read the first one and i like it i can find the other ones and i just i thought i picked this i don't know why i picked this i don't know it why might i don't follow on really I mean, it might just have the same detectives in it. I don't, I don't know, know but I mean, this is, I mean, the other one had 14 million copies sold. This has got 19 million. So there's a lot of people who haven't read the first one. Mm. Yeah. Three million, in fact. Yeah. 15, 16, 17, 18. Five million, in fact. Yeah, we'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this, uh, uh, this one would go with the last <laughs> one uh, very nicely. <laughs> Now, the last book that I picked up for £10, so this is my fifth book, which I was so happy about, because yeah. if you go on, like, the internet or something, you're yeah. going to not get that many. Yeah. So, £2. Now, the last Lisa Jewell book I read was fantastic. I really, really loved it. So, I picked up this, and I thought, yeah, okay. I don't. I didn't research it, I just thought, yeah, yeah. okay, it's by her, I'm going to pick it up. Yeah. Uh, it's called The Girls, Who Can You Trust?, Deeper, darker, richer than ever before. Engaging atmosphere and beautiful. And that was Jane Fallon. Who wow. Said that. That's Ricky Gervais. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Gripping. Uh, so, yeah, that's everything that yeah. I need to know to get into it. It's got a little. At first, I thought someone had scribbled in it, <laughs> but they actually haven't. <laughs> that's actually artwork, is yeah, that? <laughs> that's artwork in the book. And I, I was actually really confused at first. I was like, oh, someone's drawn in it, like the thick person that I am. So that's what happened. Like that. Yeah. It's like something I draw. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting. I'm looking forward to reading that yeah. again. I don't think they're going to be on my TBR soon. Yeah. Because I've just got so much. Yeah. Um. But yes, this is going to be one that I really, really want to awesome. want to read. So yeah, that was my five books. So my last book. I take him. Yeah, can you check him? <laughs> Bless him. Oh, so my last geez. book is uh, Aragon, Aragon, Dragon, uh, Aragon. <laughs> <laughs> um, this dragon series uh, that you see quite um, a lot. I think there's three other books or two other books. I don't know. Uh, it's out on DVD though. Never seen that film. Maybe we'll see it at some point in the future. Um, but I saw this. This was really cheap. This is only a pound, um, and the, 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 I thought it was. The, this is the first of this series, and I thought uh, I've seen the cover quite a lot. I'm, I'm going to go check it out. So uh, it's quite a long book, and I was just reading the author wrote it when he was about ten or something. Where is he? Christopher Poloni. Uh, he. I think it's Poloni. Christopher Poloni. 
Uh, he wrote this when he was 15. Oh, wow. 15 he wrote this. Um, and he's now 20 and written the other two books. I think there's another. I think there's a third, a fourth one even. Um, so they're all about dragons. They're all about fantasy. I thought I'd give it a go um, eventually. If um, if anyone's read uh, these, yeah, um, it was watching. It'd really be interesting to see what they thought. Yes. Um, if you have read any of the books that we talk about, please let us know your thoughts. Yeah. Um, and please correct us because obviously we'll be talking nonsense about every single yes. one of them. Yeah. So yeah. So if you want, if you have an expert opinion, <laughs> it'd be really useful. Uh, which brings us on to our final book that somebody kindly sent us. The author was a star. Yes. And sent this into our office. It's 1066, What Fates Impose. Yes. And it is a historical fiction uh, set in the 11th century, I believe. Yes. King Edward uh, and all the sort of uh, goodness that he got up to. <laughs> uh, and it is a whopper of a book. And uh, the reviews on Amazon are five star. Yes. Uh, apparently, uh, it is an absolute class uh of, of titans of book if you will uh and uh, i am really really looking forward to getting into this uh i am a big history buff although i don't read too many historical fictions or historic i don't read that much about history but i do enjoy no. it a lot yeah so i'd be very looking forward to be joining uh the club of people who rave about this book yes yeah um, definitely um, so check back in a few weeks for that one. Yeah, I'll, I'll um, post a separate. I think video. a few weeks it'll take to get through that. It will. Um, it's it's a uh, it's a big book. <laughs> it's yes. a big big book. Is it five hundred or something pages? I think because uh, I had a flick through. Four hundred and forty. Wow. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. It's going to be a real good. Uh, it's going to be a real good interesting read so thank you a massive massive thank you to the author for sending this out to us yes. on twitter if you want to send us your book uh, to review uh, we're up for doing that uh, obviously uh, but it might take us a little bit of time to get round to it especially if it's as big as that one especially if it's quite big as this. slow at reading we are and we have to carry on obviously with our full-time jobs and reading the tbr uh, the current TBRs that we've got. But we will fit it in. And playing with the puppy. And playing with this little guy. But we will fit it <laughs> in. So thank you very much for sending this out to us and expect our review very soon or soonish yes. on uh, a separate video on this channel. Yes. So thank you very much for watching this whole video. We'll do um, we'll do as many as we can, really. We've got Yeah, we of... really enjoy seeing how many books that we could get for, mm. for that amount of money. Um, so I think we'll do that again, definitely. Yeah, because yeah, it was such good fun. It was a cool idea. It was really nice seeing. It, I, I, it was a, uh, a really fun afternoon book shopping. Mm. Uh, we'll definitely upload some more vlogs as well because I, I enjoyed doing that. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching, uh, and please check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you very much. Uh, so yeah, thank you, and uh, have a nice day. <laughs>